Hello, everyone. The long-awaited episode 21 just came out a few hours ago, and oh my god, it was full of pure epic. And we've seen so many comebacks from both best and most terrible characters in this series. If the previous episode was focused on psychological horror and mind games, then today Monster Up has gifted us another portion of awesome action and plot arc developments. What I saw in this episode made me really thrilled, so today I'm going to break the whole episode down for you. And if you're really ready to figure out what sort of craziness did just happen on the screen, then put all your business aside for the next 11 minutes, and trust me, today I'm going to analyze the whole 21st episode for you, and then I'll show you all the secrets and Easter eggs that I managed to find. What nightmare did Astro Emperor actually see? What is the next move of the treacherous TV man I despise so much at this point? Where did G-Man actually come from and what changes he underwent? And what is going to happen in the next episode? Get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end, because I save the juiciest part for later just as always. Let's go! But before I'll start digging into episode 21, let me remind you real quick about the events of the previous episode, so you won't get too confused about what has actually been going on. So the episode began with an exciting scene in which the treacherous TV man points a gun at the POV to intense music. However, the situation takes an unexpected turn when TV Man eventually gives up the weapon as if he intended to just play it all off. But as the story progresses, we still realize that the true deceptive and manipulative intentions of TV Man were vile after all. When TV Man tries to get the X-18 core from the POV's hands, and when he was declined, he pushes a special control panel behind his back, which creates a portal from which the infected Drill Man comes out. And it is the same Drill Man that was infected by the new version of Zombie Virus by the Plague Doctor himself in one of the secret scenes. This Drill Man's Black Mamba ability to induce hallucinations on every character in this episode, including the POV, makes it one of the creepiest in the entire series, as there was lots of psychological tension and eerie atmosphere. Eventually, Plungerman manages to get out of this Drill Man's nightmares, and then an unexpected reinforcement comes to play in a form of no other than Astro Emperor himself. And then we were shown a secret scene where the Knight asks Titan Clockman from Dom Studios Multiverse to come and help him as well, and that's how the previous episode ended. Okay, so now when your memory is refreshed and you're all set and ready, episode 21 is already on your screens. So it all starts with the appearance of Astro Emperor who knocks off the infected Drill Man and saves the POV. By the way, in this moment, we can see that some characters are still under his nightmarish influence, like this poor Clockman who's still in the hallucinating state. After that, we see how Drill Man already got up and is planning something really large scale this time. He gets lower to the ground and then releases something that looks like poisonous black miasma from his wrists, as if he was Spider-Man who only releases these dark vortexes of hallucinogen instead of web. And by the way, this Drillman's venomous hallucinating smoke ability looked really similar to Ultra Viper's power ability from the game called Valorant, as both of them can poison and stun their enemies. So this time he pulls not only us, but Astro Emperor and Astro Toilet into one large nightmare altogether. And we all find ourselves in some unknown city that kind of reminded me of New York from the movie called King Kong at some point. And why it is so, I'll explain you a little bit later. And before I'll do it right now, don't forget to give this video a like because I appreciate it a lot and subscribe to my channel. Because I really want to achieve my goal in having 100,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Okay, if you subscribe now, let's move on. And by the way, I don't really have any idea what these white frost balls behind Astro Emperor's back are, but I suppose that everything is kind of convoluted in the nightmare world and can't be really applied to proper logic. Two Astros are looking around with great confusion, and there are two references that were hidden by Monster Up in this frame. Here's the first poster with the sign wanted on it, and it's a reference to the Skibidi creator whose channel is called Rage, and later we can see another poster which is a reference to the small Russian Skibidi channel called Dragalord. And after this, the characters witness the return of Titan Speakerman, who seem to be untouched and healthy in this dream, so of course everybody look really shocked, and it seems like they even froze out of confusion for a few seconds. The POV flies up to the air in his exosuit to see everything at the better angle, and after a moment of hesitation, Astro Emperor decides to accept the mysterious Speakerman's offer to shake hands, and even removes his shield, which was a great mistake from his side, 
because of course it all was just a vile trap from the Drillman Spider. So in nightmarish reality, Titan Speaker Man turns out to be just another hostile illusion with intentions to hurt and destroy its guests. So he pulls Astro Emperor by his hand and heavily smacks him to the face and then throws him into the arms of Astro Toilet. The little Astro brother is not happy about this illusional betrayal at all, so he blasts from the main laser gun under his body to the traitor. And by the way, look at this blasting visual effect. It's really weird, but I think it was just a rendering mistake or something like that. Well anyway, the laser strikes the false Titan Speaker Man's body like knife cutting a butter. And then we see the gigantic nightmarish Drill Man spider handing on this building, and it looks really terrifying. And by the way, do you remember how I compared this scene to King Kong movie? This shot looks like the scene from this movie where the giant ape was brought to New York. The giant drill man gives a heavy smack to Astro Toilet who dared defending himself and his bigger brother with lasers last time. And it left a red mark on Astro's face, which will be also transferred into the real world. Meanwhile, the battle between Astro Emperor and the giant freak continues. And as the POV looks at everything even from the higher position, we can see once again how city surroundings are being mixed with some ocean water parts as well. Which confirms my theory that no logic actually works in the world of nightmares. Then we see how Astro Emperor accumulated a huge impulse of power and then simply brought it all down on the ground which resulted in just a huge explosion and apparently its effects were so grand that it touched the Drillman spider from the real world at this moment. Everyone, including Plunger Man, wake up from the bad dream, and the furious Drill Man tries to leap at Astro Emperor, which looks really silly to me, by the way. I mean, what does this tiny bug hopes to do to such a big boy, bite his metal arm off or something? But in any case, he's been literally shot in the midair by the Astro Toilet's freezing beam, because as we know, zombies are impossible to destroy with any type of ordinary weapon, so I think this guy was smart enough to simply remove any possibility for Drill Man to move and harm anyone else, than to destroy him so that he would simply get back from another world eventually. And as I already said earlier, the damage received in the world of nightmares still gets transferred to the real world, so we can see the injury on Astro's face here as well. But unfortunately our boy is not here to last long with us because just a moment later he gets pierced by the terrible poisonous claw of no other than zombie Skibidi scientist. And it was a really long hiatus I must say, because last time I could remember this guy appearing happened in episode 7, which was long time no see. And it seems like this guy came back with lots of upgrades on his side that include two new cannons and also the poisonous arm weaponized with acid barrels on sides. And now he also has some sort of grappling hook in a form of real half-rotten human hand, and I've got certain thoughts on its abilities. But I'll tell you about them a little bit later. And for now, let's get back to our poor Astro Toilet as he was bitten by this terrible freak and then thrown away like a trash. The POV understands that everything is getting out of hand, so he uses his tablet where we can see four references to different YouTubers, by the way, and presses the SOS button so someone would show up to their aid. And while the help is on the way, Somber Scientist mimics his favorite scream and exchanges several shots with Astro Emperor. And in the moment when Astro let his guard down a little bit, the sneaky freak uses his disgusting hand to attach it straight onto the Emperor's face and then our big bro starts behaving really strangely. And I have a certain theory on this, so we can see how despite the fact that Astro is definitely on our side, he shoots us for whatever reason that leads to TV Man almost getting the precious X-18 core, but we'll come back to it later. So I think that it all happened due to the fact that zombie scientist grabbed Astro with his grappling hand that apparently works as an apparatus that clouds the mind of its victim and makes him more vulnerable to lose his sanity. So I suspect that Astro started shooting in all directions just to try to keep himself together and to affect at least someone responsible for this state he's in right now. But in attempts to do so, he unfortunately chooses us as a target for his shot as well. Which doesn't really do the POV any damage, but knocks us off our feet. And that's how we get thrown right at TV Man's, and as though in spite, the core also gets knocked out of our hands and it rolls straight to the TV Man's position. So of course, the nasty traitor grabs it immediately and he's almost ready to kiss us goodbye, but thankfully, when Astro Emperor unveiled the nightmare web from all affected, it also involved the clockman we saw at the beginning of the episode and our buddy bald toilet. 
So these two chads didn't allow TV Man escape this time and confiscated the precious gift that almost got to the wrong hands. And by the way, check out this moment when the bald toilet spits on the traitor and gives out a really hilarious laugh which reminded me of Hank from the Breaking Bad series. And in the same frame, you can see how after the punch, the bald toilet also lost one of his teeth. When the POV grabs the core and gets ready to serve some justice to the fallen traitor, we finally see the appearance of the one which was to come to the POV's aid. And oh boy, this is G-Man whom we haven't seen since episode 13, where he was knocked off pretty badly, and then sent to the Drillmen's base 23 to get some repair and upgrades. So now he's like from the scratch and ready to rock. With one powerful punch, he throws Zombie Scientist away and asks the POV to get X-18 Core back on its rightful place, meaning his body. And now he turns into literal god once more, as it's not his first time being enhanced by this core. So as him and Zombie Scientist get ready to fight the POV, notices some weird movements from the laying TV man, and good for him. Because it turned out the prick wanted to summon someone else and escape. As Plungerman looks at the panel's screen, he sees the name of Zombie Scientist and two options which are Summon and Return. And as he decides to test the second option, Zombie Scientist disappears in the blue portal, which instantly reminded the POV of all the cases when something unexpected or suspicious was happening to his friends, and now it became obvious that this TV man was behind all of this. So the enraged POV grabs the traitor by his throat and knocks him to the ground and the poor prick expects to get eliminated, so he covers with his trembling hands, so it's obvious that he doesn't want to go to hell at all. And I even felt a bit sorry for him at this moment. But the POV has no intentions to finish him off anyways, and instead he shoves the tablet to TV Man's face with the true coordinates of real Titans. It seems to me that he orders TV Man to teleport them all following these coordinates, and the traitor has no choice but to agree. But before that, the company has the last important task to finish in this location. The infected Astro Toilet that fought like a true Chad asks to finish him off so that he wouldn't turn into Zombie, which is a much more terrible fate than simply being destroyed. So of course, merciful G-Man fulfills his last wish and uses the power of X-18 Cannon to do this. And after this, TV Man teleports everyone in the Wall of Black Mist, and if everything goes according to the POV's plan, then soon they all will turn out to be in the cave with the Titans to finally release them all. And on this sad note, the episode ends. And that was all for today. Write in the comments below about how excited you are to see the next episode in order to find out what will happen to the POV next time. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you will not miss my new videos. And also to my Discord where you can contact me directly and get lots of info for my subscribers only. And that was me, Isa Toilet. See ya!